Hey, it's Ken Cerny again from Christ Lutheran in Merrill, Wisconsin, and I want to share with you um, something that I've just started to learn about, and this is the idea of using NDI for uh, video transport. Um, recently picked up a Fomaco camera, the KN20. Um, the KN20 is a NDI capable. It's got HDMI out, NDI out, SDI out, USB 3.0 out. I mean, you can you can get your video from many different ways. What I like about it is I can use a single cable to power it, to control it, and to get the video out of it just simply by having that that Ethernet cable coming to it. And where I want to put this camera, that's going to re be really key to not having a whole bunch of extra cables and wires and power boxes all up there in the corner, or in the, I should say in the back of the church where everybody will see it. Um, it's very visible location. And to have one cable going in the back, pretty much unobtrusive, um, would be a very nice thing. Then it would just be a nice clean camera setup. So to do that, um, I had one problem. I have a 810 Mini Extreme, which is a HDMI only inputs. Uh, on the version I have, we don't have the budget to upgrade this to SDI or something else. Um, we didn't really want to do that. This thing can do a lot of things for us. And so I needed something that would translate from the NDI in the camera, which the license is already in. It's already ready to go. It's, I wanted to get it into the ATEM Mini Extreme. And I, so I needed a something else to be able to change it from NDI to HDMI. Um, 1080p is all I needed and get it into the ATEM Mini Extreme. So I went looking and um, I, I did a lot of research on what I wanted to look at. And what I settled on was the Zowie Tech um, encoder decoder. 4K to HDMI, excuse me, NDI to HDMI up to 4K. So you can see how small this box is. Um, really, really nice little box. The price was was price was probably the cheapest one out there that I could find. Uh, and so I took a risk with it, and based on some of the reviews, and I'm I'm very happy that I did. Um, there's very few videos that show it being used in the decoder mode. Lots of videos showing you how to upload videos with it, uh, play games on it, and, and upload those games to YouTube and whatnot. It also works as a decoder, which is what I needed it to do. So I am using this strictly as a decoder to change it to HDMI to go into the A10 Mini Extreme. The other thing that I really like about it is it's like the, vid, like the camera, it is uh, PoE, so it gets its power by that, by that Ethernet cable that's also doing the transporting of the uh, information. So, um, so that's what we have. So I'm going to change cameras here, change camera views, and uh, we'll take a closer look at the Zowie Tech encoder decoder. All right, so here's, here's our uh, Zowie Tech bo Zowie box here. You can see here it has the um, Ethernet port, has a USB-C. It does re does have a USB cable that comes with it and a power supply if you need that. But it is PoE, so I'm going to be using just the Ethernet for power and also for data transmission. Um, it has a DC out position here, so if you want to power something else um, at 12 volts, you can do that. And an HDMI in. Um, if you are encoding, you would put the HDMI in to encode it and uh, go that way. Um, it has headset out and audio in. Those two jacks. It has a USB-A port for network. And I believe that's also where you would do the, uh, if there was a uh, firmware update. It has a SD card slot for recording. And it has HDMI out or loop out. So if you're encoding, you could also loop out to a, another monitor and be able to see what you're encoding. Um, or you could record on that. Again, I'm going to be going in from the camera through Ethernet.
going out through the HDMI to the um, ATEM Mini Extreme uh, video switcher. So let me plug in the HDMI into this side. Let's see. Okay, they're upside down there, I guess. Let me go there. And get my network cable. I'll plug that in on this side. Once we do that, we get the Zowie Tech logo. Again, this is a Zowie box encoder decoder. All right, so I've already set this up as a decoder. It's in DHCP mode, so it's given me the location there where it's at, 1.115. So let me show you how to set that up. So I'm going to switch over to a, a laptop here, and I'm going to go into, there we go. So we know it's 1 115. So I got 192.168 already up here. 1.115. 115. All right. And it takes me into the login screen for the Zowie Tech Zowie box. Um, admin, admin is the uh, standard when you get it. And I suggest you change that. So I'm going to leave it at that for now. Um, I'll be changing that at some point here for soon. And it comes up the Zowie Tech. And right now, okay, it's looking for the camera. So um, when you bring this up to the dashboard, it shows you all this. I have it set up as a decoder. Let me show you how I did that. So there's a couple things in here that I need to change. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to restore factory default settings. And what this will do is allow me to show you how I set this up um, in a decoder mode. All right, so it just reset itself. And if I switch cameras here for a moment, you can see it just reset the box too. All right, so again, I'm, I'm doing this so that I can show you how, um, how to set this up as a decoder instead of an encoder. So it automatically will come up as an encoder here as soon as it shows it. Now on the other side, there's also a tally light capability. I don't use it as a tally light. So there it says encoder. There's a, there is some memory built into this that's free. And the IP address, since it's DHCP, and I'm going to leave it DHCP, is 1.115. So coming back to my here, I'm already logged into 1.115. And I'm going to, again, log in using the admin admin. And I know I'm going to change it. Yes. And I'm going to close that. So now it doesn't have anything, any settings in here right at the moment. So as I go to settings, I come up to dashboard, and you can see the only thing it has here is the Zowie box. It is in the encoder mode right there. And so I'm going to come over here, and, and you can see there's no, nothing attached to it as, a, as an encoder. So... I'm going to come over here to systems, and under systems, you can come up systems, English, Zowie box, fan mode, standard, working mode. I'm going to change it to decoder. So when I switch to decoder, and I could look at the box, it's now sh saying decoder on here instead of encoder. So that tells me that's working right. So let's come back here. 
And I'm going to come over here to NDI. The NDI in the Zowie box is activated. That's good. Okay, I can do the user manager. This is where I would set up the passwords. Um, time, default, and I'm going to and hit restart. And while I'm while that's restarting, I'm going to make sure that my camera is on. So let me make sure my camera is turned on. It's already plugged into the All right. So the camera's on just now. It was on standby there for a moment. It is plugged in and to the network. It's getting its power over the network. I may or may not have needed to restart it, but I did. Okay. All right, it's coming up with the decoder. Why is it struggling here? 1.115, DHCP is on, decoding, NDI, and there's the Fomaco camera now that it's turned on. So I'm going to flip the switch on that. And it shows that it's on. And I can come back over here to live to check. And sure enough, there it is. So that's really all it takes to set this up as a Zowie box. So now what's happening is it's coming out of the camera NDI into the Zowie box through the network NDI, switching over to HDMI. And you can see that it's coming up HDMI because I'm recording it on the A10 Mini Extreme, which is why you're seeing it right the way it is. I can come off of the um, live on the on on the uh, I or on my laptop and switch over to the live, and it's a nice clear um, video of whatever it is that you're recording. So that's all it takes. Again, I'm uh, working from the Zowie box to the, there we go, as a decoder. And it's setting it up so that it's sending it from the Ethernet, NDI, from the camera, to HDMI, to the A10 Mini Extreme. And I have a real pretty uh, video of uh, our church. So clear, 1080p, 60, and just giving me a great video. And so that's all it took me to do that. A little bit of work um, changing over to decoder, setting it up on the network, and uh, once you tell it to look for NDI as a decoder, uh, then it just finds the NDI and, and it's good to go. So there you go, setting up the Zowie Tech Zowie Box encoder decoder, setting it up into the decoding mode to bring uh, NDI signal from the camera um, through the Ethernet to the Zowie Box, from there HDMI into the A10 Mini Extreme, where I can incorporate it with the rest of my cameras that are already using H HDMI to get into there. I don't have the budget to be able to update my entire outfit, my entire church uh, to something new. So I got to do things one at a time, and this is a great way to do that. Um, the Zowie box is not that expensive compared to others that do the same thing, and this is doing a great job of it. Uh, very easy to set up, very happy with it. And uh, if you like this video, please subscribe. If you're not already, hit that like button and help me get this out to other people, especially those in a small church environment that uh, can use the extra information to uh, get some good video out there. So I'll see you next time.